It is a city where passion for football is red hot. Welcome to Naples in southern Italy. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Napoli taking on Real Madrid. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a tight group, so it's vital these teams get off to a good start here. This should be a very competitive game tonight. Starting 11, David Ospina begins in goal. Fabian plays alongside Piotr Zielinski in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Carvajal starts with Ferland Mendy in the fullback positions. Federico Valverde plays with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And operating through the middle in attack today, Karim Benzema. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. Politano and pushed away to safety pretty good reading of the game to win possession back another pass over hit there wasn't much on that offside decision could have been in business It is to be a throw-in. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. An encouraging move from Napoli, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Given away by Real Madrid. Mario Rui. Zielinski. The outcome is a goal kick here. Modric. 
Here's Carvajal. Federico Valverde. The ball with Luka Modric. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. And fed forwards. But he drifted into an offside position. Well, he just thought about the pass for a fraction too long. And that's why it's offside. Very clever read, Casemiro. Casemiro has a go. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. And you don't want to lose possession there. Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Oh, Derek, can he finish it here? Oh, a goal! It's gone in! The goalkeeper doesn't want to see a playback of that ever again. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, he looks so uncomfortable with the ball at his feet. He's cost his team a goal here. Napoli get the game restarted can they come up with an appropriate response and they will be awarded a free kick for that Amir Rahmani He's managed to lose his marker. Lozano. And it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. Benzema. Now Casemiro. And a good-looking ball. Well, he likes to run at them. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Breaking at pace. Break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Foul there, free kick awarded. Vinicius Junior. Great effort to keep that one in play. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. Mastery of the passing game. Mendy. Making sure it didn't get past him. The clearance wasn't decisive. Gets in the way once more. Benzema. Well, it might still work out for them. And problem solved for now. And nearing the half-time interval, Real Madrid hold the edge here. Stuart, how about your assessment of what you've seen from them in the first 45? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Tony Kroos. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Vinicius. Not really the ideal clearance. And a time for calm on the ball. Onguisa. 
Viktor Ozimhen. And now Zielinski. And he's won the ball. Casemiro. Benzema. Modric. And he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Ozimhen. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Carvajal. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Benzema. Tony Kroos. Is with Vinicius Junior. An important interception. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. No yellow card. Instead, a firm warning from the official. Alaba. Benzema. Mendy has it. Options in the middle. Benzema. Vinicius Jr. Here's Casemiro. Really getting stuck in. And so it is. The first half story has been rated. Well, usually a standout and was in the first half. Luka Modric. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Vinicius Junior. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Now sending it in. It might still be problematic. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. delivery in the corner far too close to the goalkeeper on Guisa Zielinski and will it be the leveler keeper getting the touch and thumped away and teammates to play it to. Politano. Tremendous block. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. then let's see how it affects the match
Can someone get on the end of this? Well, it has come to nothing. Cross played over, but no one can latch onto the ball. Well, clattered away. Tony Kors. Benzema. Vinicius Junior. They might be able to get in now. Carvajal. And an astute piece of defending. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And return to Mertens. Zielinski! It was an excellent example of how to break at pace. Well, that's counter-attacking football at its best. They switch on so quickly when they win the ball back. It deserved a goal. Substitution for Real Madrid. Mendy Benzema So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here Eder Militao Really sitting deep now, that could be problematic Benzema Has a go And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Trying to pick out a teammate. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So 2-0 now. Well, as you can see, Real Madrid have controlled the possession and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Really nice ball. And it could be for Marco Asensio. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Amir Rahmani given away by Napoli oh lovely might be a chance here and foiled only by the crossbar and the goalkeeper got there well that could have gone anywhere but the keepers reacted really well well they won't come much closer than that it's a matter of inches from being a really good goal 
straight forward for the keeper. Asensio. Tony Kroos. And a chance to whip it in here. Precise ball movement. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Mertens. And now Zielinski. Zielinski. Poor pass. Mertens. And an astute piece of defending. Karim Benzema. Rodrigo. Tony Kroos. Benzema. Here's Kroos. And it all counts for naught. Politano. Five minutes to go. Mario Rui. Now Mertens. No way through. Fabian. Really high class goalkeeping from Courtois. Substitution time it is here. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. It didn't happen for them. Mario Rui laid into the centre. Well, far from the ideal header. And the goalkeeper had it all the way. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Mendy. And now Rodrigo. Well, it's a great advantage to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. And take it away. Rosano. And players waiting in the center. Clean challenge. Good thing from his point of view. And full time it is. It has gone the wrong way from a Napoli point of view on match day one. Well, it's not the start they wanted. It puts them under a bit of pressure going into the next game. They need to bounce back now. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.